In this video, I'm going to show you five quick exercises to help you overcome plantar fasciitis heel pain so you can get back to running stronger and more confident than ever. Sharp pain right here in your heel, especially when you get out of bed first thing in the morning, especially after a long run or a hard speed session, can be defeating. However, with the right strategies, you don't actually have to stop running and you can continue training and still overcome or prevent plantar fasciitis. I'm Dr. Dwayne Scotty. I'm a running physical therapist, coach, educator, founder of Spark Healthy Runner and creator of the Healthy Runner podcast. And my mission is to preserve the health and longevity of runners everywhere by allowing them to get stronger, run faster, and enjoy lifelong injury-free running. And over my 20-year career working with runners, these five exercises are the low-hanging fruit that you want to implement into your training if you're currently struggling with plantar fasciitis, or if you know that every time that you train for a marathon or every time you train for a half marathon, plantar fasciitis just comes back. You're going to want to implement these to get ahead of this so it doesn't come back during your training. So follow along with me as I talk you through these exercises, offering you key cues for tips on how to perform these correctly. The single best stretch for the plantar fascia is the seated plantar fascia stretch. You're going to cross your leg over. You're going to bend your big toes back with one hand, and you can use the other hand to actually add in a self-massage. So you can use your knuckles, you can use your thumb to kind of massage the fascia as you're stretching it. So you want to hold like 10 to 15 seconds. This is best to do first thing in the morning before you take your first step out of bed in the morning or after you're sitting for a while. Now, we can also add in a percussion gun massage as you're in this plantar fascia stretch position. You can kind of go across the fibers of the fascia. Just make sure you're not going directly over a painful spot where the fascia connects to the bone. You can also go long ways up and down the fascia toward the inside part. So we're adding a stretch with massage. And this is really one of the best exercises that you can do to stretch the plantar fascia. And it's kind of an easy one after prolonged sitting or when you wake up in the morning. Now, if that was tolerated well, a great progression is this half kneeling plantar fascia stretch where you can bend your big toe back and leverage your body weight to lean back so you feel a stretch in the fascia. And you can also add the percussion gun in this position as well, um, but you can even just do this as a standalone stretch without the percussion gun, making sure that it's not painful at all and that you're feeling a nice stretch um, within the plantar fascia. So make sure you're extending that big toe backwards. This can be especially helpful before your runs. The next way that we can actually loosen up the plantar fascia is by doing a self myofascial release. So I like to do this with my Naboso ball. And this is the recovery ball where you can get into the fascia, you roll over it, you can actually stretch your toes over it as well. And now what's like awesome about this uh, tool is that there is a small ball that's actually inside the Naboso ball and this is really great to kind of get in between the metatarsals of your foot to get into those deeper foot muscles. It actually has a little give to it. So you can really get those trigger points, especially kind of close to the heel where it does attach. So I love this tool to really do some self myofascial release of the whole plantar fascia. You can roll it as well. And the Naboso ball separates into these domes so you can actually do some releasing of your foot as well stretching the toes kind of doing this self myofascial release in the fascia itself the next stretch is going to be a stretch of the fascia in a weight bearing position so we're going to start by doing a little kickstand to the big toe and again the deboso uh, domes work great for this to start 
where you can add a little bit of a stretch in a weight-bearing position by extending the big toe over the dome shape of the Naboso ball. So kind of doing this as an active stretch, dynamic stretch, and you can progress to things that are a little bit taller by adding more toe extension. So you can see that this half foam roller extends my big toe a little bit more. That's going to increase the aggressiveness of the stretch. Again, this is a great mobility exercise to do before your runs. So we're kind of mobilizing, getting a nice gentle stretch of the fascia before we go out there for our runs. And then the final progression is going to actually integrate a calf raise with the big toe extended. So this is pretty aggressive. Make sure that when you do this, this does not increase your plantar fascia pain. So we are starting to load here. So you're working on strengthening with the plantar fascia in a stretch position. So like I said, this is toward the end stages of recovery if you're currently struggling with plantar fasciitis. Um, but this can also serve as a great prevention tool for preventing plantar fasciitis from coming back once you are pain-free. So you're working on strengthening with some stretch. I really do hope those exercises were helpful for you and that you are going to implement them into your training. And if this video was helpful, if you can do me a favor and hit the like button, that will just allow me to continue creating content just like this so you can run pain-free and continue to get those stress-relieving runs in on a weekly basis and to stay up to date with the latest instructional exercise video for runners so you can get stronger and run faster all while enjoying lifelong injury-free running, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you're notified when the latest video drops. Not only is it important to stretch and improve the mobility of the plantar fascia, but it is critical that you strengthen the deep foot muscles under your foot to support your arch and take stress off of the fascia. Now, you can click the video that I have for you next to learn how to activate and strengthen your deep foot muscles to help prevent plantar fasciitis. Thanks for watching.